Um, so these are wiper motors. Oh, where did these come out of? Uh, Honda Odysseys. Good vehicles. Good. There's a serial number there if you can get that quick enough in time. So I've got three of them. I had these motors on my last rig. So my last rig was um, bulky and a quick throw together. So with the surge this time, I have got lineal rails down here. I've had to use these spaces. I haven't attached it yet, but as it's sitting here with a surge, I have got that going. So that'll be that motor there. Um, this is actually a CV joint. CV joints work bloody good too. So, um, oh, there sitting there and getting that ready for the top platform to weld up. So, that's all mint. So, from the top, you can see there's two, those little rails are 250mm each. So, I've got, well, 125 one way, 125 the other. But, with this bracket, only doing uh, 50 one way and 50 the other, 100 mil overall. So I've got a bit of play on the actual thing. More than 50 mil each way is for gear changes and braking and stuff. It's a bit over excessive, so I think that'll be enough. Um, yeah, just designing some. Well, I've got some fan shrouds I've done. Um, then we can come over to the electronics. So I got the two, and oh, we'll take it over to the lot. Ah, I can show you where I'm going to put it. So it's going down in here. And there, right. Yeah. So there. So these are the uh, technical ID 2s. I used to have the uh, um, Monster or Spark, not so Monster Spark drivers. They keep burning out all the time. Heard better things about these, so give them a go. So that'll be all sitting like that. Next step, so I've got to build the frame to the top. Got all the steel there ready to do it. And once the frame to the top filled, that's when I'll be able to slide that whole rig on top. But I've got to sort out all this wiring. I didn't muck around with the um, cheap potentiometers this time. These were like 80 something bucks for these ones. I uh, can't remember what they're called, but they are way better quality. I think I paid 100 bucks for three of them. I think they're like 30 bucks each, so hopefully they're all right. I've got to change the setup that I had last time because I've got a screw sticking out of here and unfortunately it keeps spinning on the plastic thread. I'm trying to find like a 3D printed bracket that'll come off here to be able to, I don't know, go to there. Um, either that or I try and shorten down the bracket and actually get that in further. I did have a lot of problems with potentiometers last time with the spinning um, but yeah I might just have to do the aluminium bracket and just come out budget way again it'd be nice to actually mount that point straight in the motor shaft but then of course if the motor goes past its point I guess it'll strip out the potentiometer so these ones you can't pull apart to um, uh, make them so they do full 360 so for the prices I'm going to try and make sure that they don't spin or burn out simple adreno um yeah what more can i say but these are um i think the 500 watt power supplies we got these are cheap i don't know like 100 bucks each um 648 watts that 12 watts can do 54 amps and these motors are 46 amps, so that will leave plenty of clear weight. I'm going to join them together and just run all three motors off both power supplies. So that way there will be no power shortages. Um, also looking for the point is if you're running 5 volts to here, is that 5 volts off here enough to run the potentiometers? Or 
these actually have a five volt power that I could put here and actually run the potentiometers and these boards off here instead, which I think power-wise is the best way to go. But, and then of course I've got to make the bracket to go to here. These have already got sorted, I'm just using some MA rod to go up to the frame to about here. But um, getting there, can't wait to get the whole thing mounted. Like I said, I've got the center point all sorted. So that ends up here, or that center point over there, ends up here. And of course, keeping the weight in line above the lineal block is a major. And of course, I've kept the weight of this end right where the motors are as well. So the linear rail. So that's a lot of flame and attach to the So that is equipment. Anyway, it's an update. Cheers, guys. We'll um, catch you next time. Hopefully, I'll have the uh, wiring done and the steel frame on. And we'll give it a test drive just as it sits like this before I mount that. So I'll probably be racing that while that's doing all its twisty. So, yeah, see you then. Cheers.